All right, let's finish the deku tree. First thing you want to do in this room is just look up at the ceiling and then shoot down these enemies. You actually have to aim a little bit higher than you might think. Okay, so now just light a deku stick, then you'll want to burn the, the web that's on the right. And just crawl through this hole. And this room should look familiar. Now you just want to push this block and that's going to be like a bridge. <laughs> now to slide another deku stick and head back to the other side of the room. And then just roll forward. So now we have to kill three Deku scrubs. If you remember from the last video, the order is two, three, one. This is actually what you do with every boss. Grab this recovery heart if you need it, and then go cut the grass to get some Deku seeds for the boss battle. This boss is pretty easy. So to begin the boss battle, you'll just need to look up. Alright, so what you want to do, when Goma's eye turns bright red, just hit it with this very slingshot. And then just keep hitting her with the sword. Okay, now she's just going to go climb up the wall. I recommend that you keep Z-targeting the whole time. And then you'll just repeat the process. Just once again, um, hit her eye with the slingshot when it turns red. And then keep hitting her with the sword. And that's all there is to it. Grab your first heart container.
here's your first spiritual stone of the game. There's two more to collect later. Okay, now Maida will blame the Deku tree's death on you. So now that we have our first spiritual stone, we can leave the forest. So I think I'll cut it off here and the next time join me and we will head to Hyrule Castle. See you later.